As our hospitals here in Lubbock continue to be flooded with people, rural hospitals are facing their own set of challenges with COVID-19. KWK's Brendan Lipinski spoke to some hospitals outside of Lubbock County today to find out what obstacles they're facing now. Brenda, how are they holding up? Well, as you know, hospitals here locally are seeing more and more people. One hospital we spoke to said they've had to, to, to get their transfer services all the way from Kansas and New Mexico. All healthcare workers putting their all into caring for their patients. We're used to doing things with less, um, but the, the magnitude of the things that have been thrown at us these last few weeks and months have been pretty high. Kathy Goodwin with Cogdell Memorial Hospital in Snyder talks about the strain for resources many rural hospitals have faced amid the pandemic. Part of the reason why we're keeping those sicker patients is because we have a very difficult time transferring patients out um, to tertiary centers such as those in Lubbock and Abilene and Midland where we typically transfer patients that need a higher level of care. And those that could be transferred have had to wait. Of the last 16 transfers that we have attempted um, or that we've actually completed, uh, 10 of those 16 have been delayed, sometimes up to 23 hours. Cassie Mogg with Covenant Health Plainview says staffing and COVID fatigue is also another thing that rural hospitals are facing. I think that our physicians are tired, our caregivers are tired, um, and it's one of those things where you're dealing with this for an extended period of time. And so just trying to keep everybody um, engaged and everybody's spirits up, it's just been a very trying time. And through the long hours healthcare workers are putting in, they say they're hoping community can help play a role in helping out. Obviously, we have the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. There's a general concern in the, in the healthcare community about what that means for the next uh, couple of weeks. We're really just asking the community to do their part and to help us because we're uh, trying our best to take care of the community and now we need the community to kind of help take care of us. And we appreciate all the hard work our, our, health, our, excuse me, our healthcare workers are putting in. So we definitely want to be doing our part. Terry? For sure.